and welcome to a sunny day here in the southwest uh, on a shortish walk today about nine miles it's one uh, I've done many times well I've done half of it many times so we are parked up near Hardy's monument which is owned by the National Trust we'll have a look at the monument later and sort of have a chat about uh, what it is why it's significant when we get there because uh, we didn't park right next to it and so this route goes along um, the hill that we're on, Brocken Hill, I think it's called. And then normally I sort of drop uh, down to the east and do a loop around the little villages. But today we're gonna sort of drop down the other side, which should be quite exciting, and sort of just explore a slightly different um, route. It's always nice sort of jumping on these sort of shorter walks just to get a bit of outside time in, and then you can use the day to do other stuff as well. But we're out quite nice and early today, so it's still fresh feeling good sun's coming out promising to be a lovely day just thought we'd bring you guys along so obviously i'm here with my friend anna so Hi. we're just gonna have a bit of fun today uh, and it is interesting because there's a lot of archaeology along this site you can't necessarily see it all and you could obviously walk past a lot of things without um knowing what you're walking past but there's tumuli and remains of old hill forts and things that we'll have a chat about as well so let's just see what we can find make a little adventure of this walk and have a nice time outside. The trail headed east along Broncombe Hill, which three miles later became Ridge Hill. Ah, oh, thanks, so kind. <laughs> Look at that. Ow. <laughs> you see this? Tiny little bluebells, and then these cool, like, it's kind of like fireweed, except that's a massive plant actually, so it's not fireweed. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's lovely. Sort of carpeting this whole area. Do you like it? I love it. It's nice and red and rusty. It matches you, or you match it? I match it. <laughs> if I lie down on the ground, you can't see Camouflage. <laughs> Just two legs. Yeah. <laughs> the flowers were a type of sorrel, which commonly grow in grasslands, but also in the mountains and disturbed ground. Making slow but sure progress along the ridge here. I just keep stopping to film stuff. So many flowers, we've got the bluebells that are definitely going over now, but they're so pretty. Um, and we've got the dry stone wall here as well, just like Yorkshire. Uh, anyway, I mentioned, no, I didn't mention, I meant to mention that we're on the South Dorset Ridgeway, which runs for about 17 miles, I think it is. Uh, it's actually part of the Southwest Coastal Path, but like an inland route, um, sort of around Osmington Mills area is where it, start slash ends uh, and what you often find along these ridges is archaeological features and what we've got here da, 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 is a barrow so there's barrows all the way along this stretch of the ridge uh, they're called tumuli on the map I already mentioned that and when they would have been created they would have been super super obvious in the landscape so underneath us we've got this sort of chalky rock which is white and very uh, sort of dominant in the landscape when it's exposed. So the significant people within the tribes would have been buried in these barrows and it would have just been basically a big white mound sort of declared out to all the surrounding clans and tribes. This is a significant individual that, you know, they're to be looked up to, even though they've moved on into their second life or the afterworld or whatever it was that was particularly believed at that time. But that's why these ridges were really used as uh, burial sites. And look, I mean, I've literally just walked like another 100 meters and there's just so many. And what you often find as well is that a lot of barrows get plowed out. So, um, you know, this is sort of arable farmland right now and the farmers will come with their tractors and basically just level them out. And so, you know, very occasionally, especially if there's like mole uh, 
holes, more holes, <laughs> and you know, the turf is sort of pulled up. You know, just having a little brush over that turf with your foot, you can find coins and old pendants and all sort of like archeological finds. So it's definitely worth just slowing down and taking a closer look as you move through the landscape. The walk along the ridge was wonderful, and we took our time as we surveyed the surrounding landscape over towards the coast with Weymouth and the Isle of Portland standing out rather visibly. See all the flint? You could nap this and make a nice blade out of that. Very good. Actually, I might keep that. Having mentioned that, I feel like I have to give it a go. So I'm going to get a piece of flint. I mean, there's a lot of flint. You kind of are trying to look for the grain. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a good piece of rock. And then you want like a hammer stone, which is blunted. Let's try this one. That's not even got a... Yeah, that's not very good flint. But essentially that's what you're trying to do is break off pieces and uh, sort of in prehistory, this is how they would cut things. This is what they would use, it's flint. So they'd nap off a nice piece. I mean, it could be anything from sort of that big for very fine work, or it could be, you know, a big piece to sort of skin a deer or something like that. Um, but really this can be very sharp and you can make it even sharper by sort of serrating it. So taking the edge and sort of knocking out with say, oh, here you go, that's a nice bit. Didn't even need to do it. Look at that, beautiful. Here's one I produced earlier. Um, by like cutting out the edges, and then you've got a sort of serrated knife and you can really use these and get into intricate work. Uh, it's quite good fun as well, but there really is an art to it. You can just get lucky or you can get skilled and uh, make some really nice blades, spearheads, uh, daggers, knives, whatever it is you want. If you've got the skill, you can make it. Waggly tell you. That mum's like, come on. <laughs> Coffee time! <laughs> yum yum! <laughs> yum yum! <laughs> yum yum! <laughs> so nice having such open space. Mm -hmm. We have finally moved from our short coffee break, which turned to be quite <laughs> quite a long coffee break. No, 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 no. The I coffee, mean, it was a big coffee. It needed it a bit of big time. coffee. Yeah, I never rush a coffee. That's rule number one. Um, we're just crossing over this little road, and you can see here our sign still following the South Dorset Ridgeway. So it really could not be simpler. This is definitely a nice, easy navigation walk. See, wouldn't you just love to do that? I could fit through that. I want to go through. <laughs> you want to go through that? <laughs> go on then. <laughs> you want to take your pack off? Um, get in the hole, Anna. <laughs> Don't get. <laughs> on the other side. I think I need to go that, that way. Yeah? Yeah. Or come through the other way. Oh, right. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Hi. <laughs> Yay. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there are two wheelbarrows here. Oh, that's probably because they're building it. Well, we're building it. If we could run up and then I could Drive you down. <laughs> Hiking with a difference. <laughs> Not the road. <laughs> with our wheelbarrow fun now over, Hi. we rejoined the chalky track, then picked up a quiet country road, which took us down into the village of Upway along the Jubilee Trail. Jubilee mm. Trail. That's what we want. He come, me come, me come, read it. I can't. It's met, probably just a met water. Tom Regis. Oh, is it gas? Off something off Weymouth and met come. Malcolm Regis. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Upway was a quiet and pretty place and we enjoyed passing the well-kept gardens, bursting with flowers of every colour. LOL Street. This way. To the waiting room. That's so cool. 
<laughs> yeah? Nice. They're pretty red. Almost peachy. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the best smell. So good. Mm. I want to smell all the <laughs> This looks promising. Main road. Church road, this should be. Church Street, close enough. Upway Church. As we left the village behind, we passed by the 18th century water mill built on the River Way, which featured in Thomas Hardy's novel, The Trumpet Major. Nowadays, though, the buildings make up private homes. Nice. Oh, nice. Can you, see, can you see the rose has caught its way out of here? And the periwinkles. Mm. Tea rooms and gardens. Look at that. Well, you will. It's like three times for me. Just off the route was a 13th century parish church dedicated to St. Lawrence and a grade two listed building. It's believed that a church has existed on the site since before the Norman conquest of England in 1066. Weddings at the well, there we go. There, that's what we want. Fry Wadden, over the stile. This is, uh, we call these invisible styles. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna be? Just mm -hmm. gonna step over? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Happy face. Right? Can I step there. on that? Yeah, you can. Does that just cheap? But I'm not allowed to step on it. No. Oh, just. Look at that. Works, right? Yeah, it is. Right. Right. Upwards we go. Upwards. Upwards. Going up. Excuse me, mister, can you tell us the way? Follow me. I shall be your guide. Follow the king. <laughs> Sniffing you out. He's the best one. He's alright. Oh, so Bobby isn't allowed, but the cow is a what? Uh, it's probably like. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, go. <laughs> we were now on top of Wadden Hill, which once again offered superb panoramas over towards the coast and surrounding pastoral landscape. Fists of flowers. Do they smell? Oh, so good. So good. So good. Mmm. It's like my bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going? Into Thessalonia. What is the um, electricity thingy? Oh, why? Right. Um, I do not like them. Yeah. Huh? I do not like them. Here we go then. So leaving the road, heading up. Right away, footpath, this trail will take us all the way back up to Hardy's Monument. Happy days. Fiddly one. <laughs> it's a carabinery. Oh yeah? Old farm buildings and Hardy's is getting closer. I expect you can even see that now on the wide angle lens. Whoa. <laughs> We were in good spirits as we made our way up Hellbottom Valley back towards the hill that would take us on to Hardy's monument. We stopped often to soak up the peaceful atmosphere and watch buzzards soar lazily overhead. Okay, come through the gate and recognise this. We're back on the main trail or the South Dorset Ridgeway. So we finally, <laughs> taking a while today, but it's all good. There's no rush. 
um, finish our loop. So we're going to basically head to the car and then we'll just whip up to Hardy's Monument because of course that's the main feature today. <laughs> so I feel like it's kind of important that I show it to you <laughs> and we have a little chat and then we'll wrap up from there. Bye. Happy <laughs> with so much energy. <laughs> She's like a puppy. Trying to keep her under control is, is quite challenging. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and here it is. So, sits at 22 meters tall, erected in 1844 in memory of Thomas Hardy, who served as a commander during the Battle of Trafalgar. So, it's designed to point all the corners in the direction of the compass, uh, help with shipping. Obviously we've seen the coast quite a bit today. Um, and the other interesting thing is with its height and of course where we are, we're over 200 meters above sea level here. Uh, you can see it for over 60 miles. It's pretty big. The views from the monument were fantastic and it was easy to see why it was built in such a prominent position. Adjacent to the monument itself was a stone seat erected in memory of Lieutenant Cole Digby Oswald who was killed on the Somme in 1916. So we made it. We are sat in front of Hardy's Monument. Beautiful 360 views all around, obviously over the coast, Isle of Portland, all rather lovely. It's been a good walk today. Have you enjoyed the walk? I've loved the walk. There you go. That's what we like to hear. Uh, so, you know, half a new route for me, entirely new route for Anna. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it too. It's been really nice sharing it with you. And obviously like, it's not a dramatic landscape. You've got the rolling green grassy arable landscape um, with the cows and the sheep and the birds and the bluebells and it's all rather nice. But on a clear day like today, it's pretty much perfect. Um, just enjoying the ridge walk with, as we talked about, the views in every direction. So thank you for joining us guys. I uh, hope you enjoy your own adventures wherever they may be very soon. And until then, are you ready? I am. Stay, Stay wild! <laughs> <laughs>